Kelsey drive it long off the halfback line. But wait, Lambros chops it off and like a rocket to space, he is off here. Nobody can catch Lambros. Once again, spinning out of trouble. You would think Lambros is not wearing deodorant today because nobody wants to go near him. And Dingley, we are marching on to September. Two big wins away from a top three finish and a big September campaign. So subscribe and stay tuned for a lot more to come. Welcome back to another game day vlog, guys. How good is this game day? I remember when I was little, I literally couldn't sleep even on practice match nights before the game. Like I was that razzed up. So I'm pretty keen. I'm pretty keen to say the least. And I hope you guys are as keen for this vlog as what I am right now to play this game of footy. Now, today we're versing Chelsea. They're going to be a good side. I've got a couple of mates in the side, but last time we played them, I gave it to a couple of the boys. So I know I'm going to be getting it back with interest. And so I want to be super, super aggressive. Now, I'll put my goals up here. And pretty much my goals were 30 possessions today, six tackles, which I think I can do. I haven't been tackling that much. So getting that into my game is really important. Get those one percentage up. It will really help your team. And the final goal was to kick a goal. Obviously, I've been hitting the scoreboard the last few weeks, which is good. Just need to continue to kick goals and not miss set shots. Let's kick some set shots today. It's a little bit wet outside. That's going to bring Chelsea into the game. However, Lambros is going to be on, as I said, really aggressive from the first bounce today. Okay, guys, how do I start my mornings on game day? So I usually wake up around 6 a.m. and go for a really nice walk. First thing in the morning, get some good sunlight in, and then I'll have breakfast. So this morning, I'll show you my breakfast. I only had three eggs instead of my usual five. And the reason for that was because last week, I felt a little bit full when I was playing. I think I'm just still getting used to eating so much protein like post Europe trip, but I'm trying to decrease how many eggs I eat before a game because I just felt a little bit off. I don't know why, but if you guys do feel like you're not performing optimally on game day, just change like little things. It doesn't have to be massive, but as long as before the game, you're getting some good protein, but more importantly, some good carbs and fats such as peanut butter and fruit. Try to avoid really heavy things such as pasta and bread. Today we've got what? A Mexican bowl. Plenty of carbs once again. Rice, sweet potato, whole sources of carbs. We usually say no to dairy, but I would probably avoid milk. Sour cream and cheese, they're more raw sources, so non pasteurized as much, so your gut should be all right after that. Also, plenty of chicken, healthy fats, cooked in coconut oil and avocado. Optimal. If you don't play well tomorrow, there's clearly something wrong with you. Definitely. And your testosterone must be really low. <laughs> Alrighty, boys, we're getting some electrolytes in. So we've got the lemon flavor today. And what we're going to do is have two scoops. So morning of game day, two scoops of electrolytes. Really going to help with the cramps and also going to help with your hydration. So you're going to be super ready to go before the game. And um, bottom time. Beautiful. Now, if you are under the age of 18, do not worry about this segment at all. But if for all you gym bros out there and those who want to maximize their hormones and optimize their blood work, essentially to perform at the best of their ability, I'm just going to show you what vitamins I have. I'm not going to go through them in detail. If you want me to go through them in detail, let me know in the comments. But these are the vitamins and minerals that I have every single day. Final thing that I make a really big effort to do, I've done this the last couple of weeks, is Razz myself up in the morning a little bit. Like, don't overdo it, but play some, like, bangers and some tunes. Because I feel like on game day, if I do really deep work, such as, like, if I make someone a gym program or a running program on game day, by the time I get to my game, I feel drained, and then I just don't perform as well. So try to avoid deep work in the morning, something that's going to require a lot of brain power. And instead, do, like, you know, things such as, like, meditation or, like, reading, something pretty light, and just, boys, get g up. It's going to be fun. It's going to be the best day of the week. So enjoy it. It is lunchtime, currently 10.20. And this is what we have. Chicken, rice, a bit of sauce on here and cheese. And guys, let me just show you what I do to season this chicken perfectly. This is salt. Absolutely smash salt before the game. So you can avoid those cramps on every single opportunity as possible. So Lambros is just going to smash this. You know, about almost four hours before the game. And um, we're chilling and grilling, boys. Let's get it. Alrighty, boys. It is time for a confession. 
Now, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, and I don't even know why I do it, but on game day, I never finish a meal totally. I always weigh my meals. I know exactly how much I should eat on game day, but I never finish a meal. So I'll sh quickly show you what I mean, and then I'll talk about it for a second. So that is the remainder of my chicken and rice. I've weighed it out perfectly, so I should have eaten it all, but... The reason I don't eat it all because I feel like if I don't, I'm going and I'm sacrificing a little bit of pleasure for reward later on in the day to play a better game of footy. Now, I don't know why I do it, but um, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this, but I hope you uh, don't do the same thing on game day because it is so stupid. It would not be game day if it wasn't for the fruity socks. We have gone today with the sloth socks it is going to be a good day with the sloth socks let's go fruity socks to game day every week make sure you send dms to lambos of your fruitiest of fruity socks every week boys we need to make sure that we're bringing a banana to the game so about two hours before the game we want to knuckle a really like moderately sized banana after that the most important ingredient of the day boys the bee juice Genuinely, I don't see enough players doing this. Like, if you're not doing this, you are... If you're not doing this, you are absolutely tarnishing your performance. Get about five servings in there. Straight up, boys. Like, actually smash honey. Final thing is the diary. So, make sure in the front of your diary, you chuck in your yearly goals. So, that way, every morning, when you do write, like, a couple goals, a couple things you're grateful for, you can have a look at the goals that you have for the year. And there you have it, boys. The goals for the day. I already showed you guys these goals. But, you know, it's good to show you again. It's good to remind myself. And just a little bit of a quote of the day on the back here. I am powerful. So that's going to be the phrase I say over and over again. Finally, guys, the most important thing, obviously, every single week, is seeing what Snowy's perspective is on the game. Now, it's his 15th birthday today. Say Everyone say happy birthday to Snowy. 15 you are. Mate, you're an absolute old chap. Now, I'll get down here with you. Tell us how it feels to be 15. How can you age in like fine wine? Interesting, mate. Really interesting. And um, are you going to cut down to my game today? He doesn't really want to come, but I'm probably going to force him to. And one more final thing, mate. For the fans, uh, who's your favourite player of all time? <laughs> Thanks, Snowy. Oh, I think it was. Did you hear the gossip? Yeah. We can get some right from the past. Yes. Head, head, oh. Oh, man. Nice. 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 <laughs> yeah, what was that? The new kids just went past. Oh, okay. yeah, I was just stood there. I'm not like acting like I'm in it. Alright, let's set up. I don't know if it's real. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Welcome back everyone to another game day vlog. Now this game we are versing Chelsea Heights. They're a pretty good side, but they haven't done too well this year and I'm playing on the wing, as always, number six. Now, should I be in the half-back line? I don't know. I probably am more of a half-back flanker. But this year, I've been on the wing. I was wing last year, and I was fortunate enough to make team of the year wing. So I'm kind of sticking with it, with it at the moment, and the coach is loving me on the wing. Today, literally about an hour ago, I met Prime for the first time. Shout out to Prime, absolute king of a man. Uh, hopefully we shoot some cool content together in the future. I'm sure we will. And he's just an awesome bloke to be around. Um, yeah, very inspirational and wise young chap, which is great. Obviously here this game, my goals for the day were to rack up the posies and to run with the footy. Similar to the usual plan of attack, I reckon don't stray away from your strengths too much. So for example, if you're a tall player, try to really focus on getting your marks every day because every week, sorry, because at the end of the day, like if you don't take those marks, you're not really playing the role that your coach wants you to play for your team. So I'm playing on the wing here and I am getting tagged by this guy on not, not four, he was on me just in this clip, but 
I'm getting tagged by another guy. I think he may have been number 46. And he was wearing me pretty tight. And when you're playing on such a small ground, it is quite tough to break a tag. But I kind of just had to keep running. That one now just got smothered off the boot there. And I was a little bit disappointed with it. But I was just thinking to myself, Lambros, you can't do those dinky little kicks. Like, I need to just go long because I am quick as... And similar to someone like Mitch Robinson, when I am like running at full tilt, it is really hard to steady yourself. So I just need to kick it long in those situations. But went up for a mark there, a drop one, kind of moved the elbows up a little bit, like a cheeky little Ginevan high tackle. And it was his ruckman. I was thinking about getting around him. And I kind of just like bitched it to be completely honest. So I went long down the opposite side of the ground to open it up a little bit. And we're up by seven points in the first quarter. So it's been a really good start to the game. I reckon I've had about nine touches in the first quarter and I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Now my disposal hasn't been the greatest, but I am feeling really good. That one, as, as I say, my disposal is good. I just butchered that kick. Can you believe that? Oh my God. Um, Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the game day vlog of Carlton versus Melbourne on Wednesday when we filmed with Caden McDonald. What an absolute legend, and his mate Connor as well. The boys were so nice, and we got to meet the Div 12 Resis boys as well. They are smashing it. So, Land Rose is definitely on the up. We're meeting some really, really cool people in the industry, which is great. So I got a handball back there, and I just drove it long, man. Like, that was my role in this situation. Look, if, if that does happen and they intercept Mark, that's not necessarily your fault if you are driving it to 20 meters out because that's where your big, tall forward line player is supposed to be standing all day long. Now, this game for you guys reference, it was like a little bit wet. Like, it wasn't like massive, but, you know, it was noticeable that the ground was like a tiny bit dewy, but it wasn't really impacting the gameplay. And it just felt weird, man. Like, we're not playing that well right now, to be honest. I definitely want to be playing better as a side. Um, and that's me kind of there just kicking it, but yeah, I reckon, I reckon we're going to heat up in the next two weeks. So there's two more games before finals. And if we win those two games, we're going to be top three, meaning we get a double chance. And if we get a double chance, ladies and gentlemen, I am telling you now we will make the grand final. And if we make the grand final, you best believe the crowd is going to be unbelievable. Like I'm going to be getting so much love from the boundary, but also so much hate as well. Posting footy content, you don't realize how much hate you actually get, but you do get a lot of hate. Obviously, you know, I don't think I'm above anyone else. I think everyone's equal. And, you know, I really do encourage everyone else to film stuff if they want to. I always tell the younger younger kids who ask me, oh, like, how do you film your videos and stuff? And should I film? I always say, yeah, of course you should. Um, I just absolutely love other people making content. That one now got a free kick and tried to go short. I probably should have just gone longer, but I saw a big four line player coming up. I thought he had a couple more meters on him. Um, but we're down now, guys. We're 11 points down. This is a massive game. If we don't win this game, we cannot finish top three. So this is literally like... Their season's done, Chelsea Heights, but our season is on the actual line. So if we lose this, it is like just the worst thing ever. Like we're, we're just in the absolute pits. That one now got grilled so hard by the opposition. I kicked it on the full. I had a little bit of time in the contest and it kind of just flung off the side of my boot. And just shout out to Duxy in the comments and a couple of the other boys here Massimo and um, Fred are just getting around us as well. So if you guys do leave a comment, if it is a good comment, I will be sure to put it in the next video or whatever video comes up. I'll put it in the videos. We reply to all of our comments. And this is just another one here um, from Rocco saying, Lambros, another gun video from a gun player. Thank you, brother. Absolutely love your support. You guys are running these vlogs up so much and commenting and liking just helps it so much. So thank you for that. And then someone just said this channel so good. So appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. And I'm so glad that you found the channel. And hopefully you get some little bit of education out of these videos. Um, so we're two points down, guys. Three quarter time. I am in the huddle at three quarter time. And my old man comes up to me. And he kind of puts, puts me in like a little bit of a jumper punch. And he says, Lambros, or Lockie. Lockie's my name. But Lambros, you have to be the one to influence this game. So I knew that... You know, when the times are tough, good players 
in big moments have to influence the result. I knew I had to have an influence on the result because I had been getting tagged on the wing and I didn't have the biggest influences in the first three quarters. But this last quarter, I knew it was my time to heat up and switch another gear. Like I definitely have gears to be honest. Like especially now when I'm filming the game day vlogs, I do cop a lot of shit. That's me in the pack there just missing a goal. Could have kicked it, but oh well. But I definitely do have gears filming the game day vlogs. Like I do get a lot more attention out there. And sometimes I do lose my mind just a little bit. But when I am switched on and the game is hot, like right now you'll see in the next couple minutes, this is some of my best footy, like, because I know, like, I'm not worried about the game day vlog or anything. Like, I know the game's hot, and all I have to do is just put my body on the line for my team and just surge the ball forward and get us a W. So that's exactly what I did here. I got the ball forward, and we... I'm pretty sure we kicked a goal off this play. We did, yeah. Lloydy marked it, and we kicked a goal off this play. So I've just set up that goal, um, and that's put us in front. That one has put us in front, and I'm dialed in, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm like, all right, when I heat up, I'm a momentum player. I've literally got the ball now again. I've ran long, I've pumped it in long, and bang, Lloydie again. I've hit up our tall forward. So I've set up two goals in two minutes to put us up. Lambros is absolutely dialed in. In big moments, guys, literally just don't like be nervous. There's no point trying to be nervous about it. Just go do your thing and just fully send at every opportunity. So there's me handballing to news the BNF Winner in the comp last year, absolute star and the funniest bloke you will meet. Honestly, he like he won the BNF in the comp last year and he'll rock up to games with like a sausage roll. Man, he's just an absolute freak. Watch this guys. Got that bang fade away. Let's go. Get it in. Get it in long. So you can see I'm pretty dialed in. Like there's a change in my mentality this last quarter. And you can see that in my performance as well. That's something I really need to keep working on. Is just keeping my head especially when I'm copying stuff from over the fence as well. I'm continually trying to drive my legs and I'm on the outside here. I've got the ball and I'm just thinking, all right, let's just show a little bit of composure. Just chip the back over to nudes. And I was kind of just trotting through the middle here, just holding my shape and getting ready for defending if we actually have to in this last quarter. Now, this is what uh, I'm good at this is definitely what I'm good at getting the ball in the deep pockets of the ground and Working from there. So I've given the handball over. I'm running on the wing I've taken a bounce seen him decided to take him on and I got shoved into the fence on that play as well Got a couple of scratches on the old elbows, but that's all right And I'm, I'm running to the contest like as you can see I am absolutely wired right now So everything's going pretty well. We are a few goals up now I have done a couple of good things, and this was play of the day. Intercept mark, kept running, took a bounce, decided to take him on, took another bounce, and I saw a bloke coming at me, so I just quickly kicked it off to our boys. I don't know what happened there with those two, but that's just me opening up the ground and loving what I do, being that running player. So I love, you know, trying to inspire you guys to run with the footy because it stands out, and that's what wins games for your team. Now, that's the game, guys. As you can see, we've won by a few goals. I've finished up with 26 touches, 115 super coach points, 6 clearances, and no hitouts, unfortunately. Oh, I must not be at all. Boys, what a win. Lambos from the last quarter finally switched on. Finally. Steph, mate, what did you think of that performance today? Questionable. Not your best performance for the year, but I'll cut you some slack. You are coming back from Europe, and that last quarter, when the game was hot, was... Fucking terrific. Honestly, a few of those runs, I was liberated from the sidelines. Thanks, mate. Thank you. And how did the 19s go today, just quickly? Wasn't our best win of the season. We did win by 100 points. Probably the worst 100-point win you've ever seen in your life. Not the best performance today, but we got the job done. And the Dingoes, top three, second on the ladder now. Both sides. Both sides, second on the ladder. And just quickly, guys, you would have never guess where we're going now. Video is going to be out on Wednesday. Fish and Cripper, let's go. Go the Blues against Melbourne. This is going to be an absolute movie again. And Lambros is out. Finals, here we come. Let's go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, we absolutely love doing this for you guys. And I just hope you guys are enjoying it and learning something from these vlogs.